it's often really hard to see the benefit of using things like destructuring if you don't see a practical example, however small that practical example is. And what we're going to do now is look at an example using a function in PHP that returns an array. So remember, with array structuring, what we've been doing at the moment is looking at things that we've been manually building up ourselves. So we've been manually building up a list of uh, things inside of an array, whether that's a numerical or a associative array. But that's not always the case. You've got tons and tons of functions and things that you can do which will return to you an array. And that makes it super simple to destructure these on the fly. So you can do this all in one line rather than having to rely on creating temporary variables to then extract values out that you need. Now let's look at an example of something that I used recently and that is parse URL. So parse URL will take a URL with a scheme, a host, a query string, a path, any information that you would normally find in a URL like https slash colon slash slash cocourse.com and you could also have other information in here as well, like the path and any query information in here as well. Let's just stick with the really simple example of just having the scheme and the host in here for now. Now, if I wanted to pluck the host out of here, in fact, first of all, let's var dump on this just to see the information that we get. Let's go over to the browser and you can see the scheme here is HTTPS and the host here is cocourse.com. So let's say that I was submitting this through to a form and I just wanted to pluck out the cocourse.com part of that. Well, we know that's really simple. We can just go ahead and create a variable in here called host and we can access URL and then host and kind of pray it's available. And I'm saying that because a little bit later on, we're gonna look at what happens if things aren't available within an array when we try and destructure them. So let's do a var dump on the host and sure enough we get the string codecourse.com. Pretty straightforward. But because parse URL returns to us an array, we can actually do this all in one line using array destructuring. So I can go ahead and say, well, I want to pluck the host out and I want to give that a variable name of host. That means I can get rid of this line. I can get rid of that temporary URL va a variable that I probably don't need. And that works in exactly the same way. So just remember, any function that returns an array, you can make use of array destructuring with in exactly the same line. Now, we're going to stick with parse URL and go over to the next part and look at what happens when you try and uh, destructure a particular thing, e.g. a key from this, that doesn't exist. And we're going to see how we can get around that.